Well, welcome back to Dempsey MTB. Today we're starting off at Beaver Mead Park. It's uh, one degree, it's supposed to go up to six. So it's still fairly cool. So right now we're at lock 20 and uh, it's a cool day. I'm actually not feeling motivation yet. I decided to come out anyways. We'll see how far I make it. I really would like if I could push myself and make it to Lakefield and back. The trip I've been, it's on my bucket list for some reason. It's a simple trip, but We'll see, it's on my bucket list. It's only about a uh, 40 kilometer round trip. 20 there, 20 back roughly, maybe just a little bit less. But it's, uh, it's not any distance that I haven't ridden. It's just, I don't know, my motivation today is just one of those days that I just don't feel the love. But I know physically and mentally I need to get out, get riding. The, uh, did some inquiry about the trails and that. Earlier this week before the massive rain, they were getting borderline. Uh, some areas we're able to travel, other areas are, you know, like partially open, you know, partially able to travel. So if it had been dry, I maybe would have tried one of those. But then we got some massive rain, just dumped down. Even my yard's still squishy and soaked. Ground is so saturated. So I figured, yeah, some of the sand trails might be okay, but I figured out. Uh, We'll just do this another weekend. Got to start trying to get out during the week at lunch. I'll uh, contact my boss. Because this would make him aware that if I start going out for lunch rides, right, which I know he won't have a problem with. But I can start, see, start, uh, snark. Wow, new tongue, bought it last night. I sneak out during lunchtime for, for some rides. It'll, uh, it'll be nice. So, the trail start actually doesn't start till up here. Where I park there, it's just a, uh, it's just a park. It's just, it's 
easy parking without being parked on the side of a road. This technically is a bike lane. Not very well marked. Just shows ours. It's just not really a bike lane, but just showing you where the trail goes to. I think that's what it does. Yeah. It's up here on the ground that has for the bike. Left hand turn. Left hand turn climb. And here we are. Officially on the trail. Paved trail for a while. Morning. So I had uh, had a look at the uh, trail forks, and I noticed that from. Uh, Trent University last week up to Lakefield was all uphill. Coming back was on a slight grade down. And from Beavermead to Trent University is all slight grade uphill. So, it explains a lot. A lot more effort to get there. On the way back, it's a lot easier to cruise. So, this road's a lot quieter. Nice, clear to go. Notice before I started, there's a lot of joggers heading out. Uh, this is a perfect day for it, so. Tricycle, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Another 20 years, that'll be me. Yeah, we're at that point, the legs are tired. Almost seems like... I reached that point. Uh, let that muscle relax for me. And then, I don't know, from what I call, I don't know how long I reached that point, my legs and tires, and then a little bit of something will click in my head. I'll be good to go. It's almost like my body looks okay. We've done our warm up. A lot of people walking today, which is awesome to see. Pass it on your right. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. 
So, some of you may be wondering, well, how are you with the concussion? Well, I have limits. Today might push the limits. Yesterday was a hard day at work. I didn't take as many breaks as I should have. And it really affected me negatively. Hard to concentrate, headaches, burning eyes. Right now we're a little bit on the burning eyes, but I think that's partially because it's cold. Yeah, I'm wearing my glasses, glasses to help block some wind, but because of prescription, they're not as wide as a sport glass. So I get a lot of air going around them. And honest truth, part of the way to deal with concussion is not to push or over push yourself. So even though I'm doing this right to Lakefield, it's going to involve a few stops, hydrate, snacks, right? Uh, sit down, just relax for a few minutes, and uh, clear the mind. Uh, so it's just, you gotta adapt to what your body wants and can do. And not what your mind thinks you should do, but what your body needs. Oh, I got a little rabbit. Hope that's on video. Rabbit ran right, right in front of me. I almost had to have rabbit stew tonight. I do know there's some single track trails around here. And I think that's gonna be for another day. Cause I don't wanna try it in my gravel bike tires. But according to the map, there's trails, some green, some blue on the trail fork, so I'll have to investigate further. Oh, I got a gear down. This is a dirty little road here. Ooh, a little soggy, 
Not as bad as I thought it'd be. Yeah, not too bad at all. Still ice down in the swamp water there. How interesting. It's always cooler in the cedar tree, so. <sighs> or warmer in the winter, I don't know. More shelter and the cedars, that's for sure. Feel the slight grade uphill. Yeehaw. So, thought I'd fill you in on on Libby, my future ride partner, four-legged dog. So she's doing okay. Her training's coming along. She's we're learning her communication clicks. And uh, she's coming, toilet tray's coming along, sit, lay down. It's all progressing bit by bit. When we uh, first got her, she was a really sick puppy. Uh, it's eight weeks. She weighed 1.9 kilograms, so just under four pounds, or just at four pounds. And uh, supposedly she was dewormed and stuff like that, but there was no signs of that. Because uh, we, for three weeks we had to have her on dewormers and she had a parasite and we had to get rid of that. So, but all being said, you know, it's 12 weeks now and uh, she's now just over 12 pounds. So. She's come along growing just fine. Worms are gone, parasites are gone. So now we can really concentrate on doing the training, which takes time. We will be getting a, uh, a trainer when we had Jersey, we had one paw at a time. And uh, Becky Pelly, she's the owner of that business. And anyway, she trained Jersey and we retain some of the skills on, you know, how to do some of the sit and stuff like that, but we're going to utilize uh, a proper dog trainer to A, she'll train Libby and retrain uh, Michelle and Michelle and I as a, as a family on uh, the skills to, uh, on how to train, be persistent with training. 
So, because we're not quite sure what she is, and if she is that uh, Australian Shepherd in her, which we're not sure if she does or not, and we know she has lab, that's for sure, but we say Shepherd, but this Australian Shepherd is uh, got to be very regimental, I think. Um, and keep him busy, which she is a sterling. She's gonna make a, she's gonna run me on the bike, which is okay. I don't mind. As long as on the recall, I can whistle for her and she'll recall, which is what I need out on the trail. That's the, the key thing is recall, her sit, her stay. You know. Those are key things for when you're having a dog that runs with you on the trail, off leash. So, oh, and leave it tends to be a big one because you know then squirrels run across the trail. You just tell them leave it. And, you know, Jersey would kind of look at you and go, really? Oh. This is a little soggy section of a trail here. Underneath uh, where it hasn't been cleared off. Got a little bit of sogginess, not too bad though. I am hoping that the trails dry up for a bit soon. I don't mind doing the odd gravel bike ride, but I'd rather be cursing up a hill and enjoying the downhills than just this trail. But that being said, there is going to be a time that I want to like to take Michelle on this route. At least do part of it once the evening gets longer she gets off work you know do it in two sections just get her out because she likes the gravel ride she'll do the uh you know the mountain biking with me and that but she really likes the gravel ride from what i understand anyways and there is the uh I'd like her and I to bike from Peterborough to Lakefield as well. No, not Peterborough, sorry. Peterborough to Hastings. That's a good, that's a good ride too. But that's not a, uh, an evening ride. That's a leave in the morning, get there for lunch. Uh, and then bike back. Goose Alley, hi Goosey Goose. Well, I can see the smokestack of the factory at uh, Lakefield. You can see it up there a little bit. So we're, we're getting there. Still a ways away, but we're getting there. Hit by bit. Well, here we are. We're at Lakefield. Not quite at the end of the trail. I'll take the trail down to the benches and sit there. But right, we made it to Lakefield. You know, it's funny. We're on our way home right now. It's 
not the bike ride I'm kind of kind of feeling I don't know kind of cursing a bit it's not the bike ride I actually feel cold it's the cold that bothers me God, that wind's picked up. Oh, this is going to be a brutal ride back. Hopefully we get into the trail here, we'll get blocked by some of this wind. <sighs> Hoping anyways. That wind's picked up because oh it's not a good clunk on the chain there. Here we are, halfway point. Fuck, it's cold. Oh, gotta walk around for a bit. My toes are numb. along the road here the other side of the trail
went very well. There's the crows up there eating away at the dead rabbit. I'm doing this slow climb up. I'm low on energy and I'm frozen. So I'm kind of just taking my time right now. So a lesson learned, pay attention to the wind direction and the wind chill and bring extra clothing to compensate. I always have extra gloves on me and I think an extra head thing but it's not the head thing it's cold it's Well, I will say, at least this last half is easier than riding on the on the piece on gravel or whatever chip gravel, whatever it is. Uh, easier riding on pavement.
All right, not too much farther now. We're at Hunter Street. Oh, hurts the feet just to fucking walk. Probably because they're half frozen too. You know, it's funny, or uh, almost at the end here, but crossing these roads and that, and you know, mountain biking, practicing those track stands and that, really pays off because I was able to track stand there for enough time without really flopping around much and on a harder, skinnier tire. So I think my track scan skills are improving. Kids at the playground so far. A lot of people like to play at Little Lake Beach here in the water. Definitely when it's warmer, not when it's this temperature. But here we are coming up to Lock 20 again. Ready? All good. No, all good. Thank you. Come by Parks Canada here. The main office in Peterborough for the Trent Seven Waterway. And here we are entering back into Beavermead Park where we're parked. So appreciate you all joining me on this journey. Again, as soon as I can, we'll get out to the single track trails and 
and enjoy some real mountain well, mountain biking. Uh, until then, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, take care all. We'll see you on the next round.